right, so I got to ask you, you know, just growing up for you in Canada, who were just some of your favorite hockey players? Uh, back in uh, back when I was growing up, my favorite black player was probably uh, Joe Thornton. Mm-hmm. Uh, I didn't really grow up in Canada. I uh, didn't move there until I was like 12. So uh, that's when I really started playing hockey and kind of falling in love with it. I love it. So if you did a Mount Rushmore on the spot of fours of all, for your generation, or you could do all time mixing in, who would be the four you put on the Mount Rushmore? Oh, that's a tough question. Um, I mean, Wayne, Wayne Gretzky there, um, Mary Lemieux. Um, I think uh, I think Connor's probably up, up there and said, "Oh, well, that's it. yeah." Hang on that list. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So if you build the perfect line and you're one of the forwards, you need two more forwards. You can have them. They don't have to be left wing, right wing. They're just two more forwards, two defensemen, and a goalie. How would that team look? Non teammates. Non teammates. Yeah. Um, I'd have uh, Barkov in the middle, mm-hmm. and. Uh, Oof, Barkov in the middle. I'd have can't do Miro, can't do teammates. You know what? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Make Miro, Miro on the lefty. Okay. Uh, I'll take take uh, Pasta on the right wing, uh-huh. and uh, oof, right D, right D man. You know, people. Are, you know, I want to ask this question. Two names come up usually, Duncan Keith and Nicholas. Listen. Oh, this is like all time. Yeah, all time. You can mix oh. them in. Oh. Okay, well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'll take Lindstrom for sure. Yeah. Okay, there yeah, you go. Lindstrom for and sure. And a goalie. And uh goalie, I'll take uh take uh take Patrick Waugh. Ooh, yeah. nasty, nasty. Yeah, I didn't know okay. it was all time. Yeah, yeah. So, so I gotta ask you this, you know. You said growing up you were playing video games different like that, but now seeing yourself on an NHL EA game, what do you think about that? I think it's pretty cool. I uh, I don't think I've played NHL since I've been in the game, which is which is sucks, but um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I, I always got my buddies sending me clips of me and like games, and uh, you know it's pretty fun that way. But uh, maybe I should jump back on and start playing. I love it. I love it. So obviously, hockey family. Um, appreciate you been asked about your father a lot, but just what would be one important thing that he may have taught you on your path to get into the NHL? Uh, just take it day by day, have fun with it, and uh, enjoy the ride. You know, it only happens once, so you can uh, just enjoy it. I love it. So if it was a one-on-one, this fast break, your dad, obviously a defenseman, you want to break who wins that match? Who's going to win that one? He's probably going to take me out. So. Oh, I if love it. Uh, if I got a little bit of a head start, then uh, he's not going to catch up to me. But if, he, okay. if he's close enough, he'll probably, he'll probably get me. I love it. Two more questions. The Stars team, obviously, the potential winner standing club is there. This team, you know, mixture of youth and, and bets. What do you see in a potential team going forward? I think it's uh, the sky's the limit for us. Um, we have a great team, great great coaching staff, great system. Um, you know, I think everyone's bought into uh, what we're doing here. And it's going to be a long, long, fun ride. All right, cool. Last question. Do you take one attribute from any all-time or any current player and add it to your arsenal, whether it's stick handling, speed, slap shot, or anything that you want to add? What would be the one attribute? Uh, it'd be it would be skating. I would take uh, I would take uh, Quinn Hughes' skating. Okay. I could skate like Quinn Hughes. I love it. I love it, yeah. man. Well, appreciate your time, Mason. Thank yeah. you so much, Thank brother. You. Thank you. Appreciate it.